Hello world and welcome. Today we will talk about double DQNs or double deep Q networks and a really nice example. My name is Harris and let's get started. So for more tutorials, more videos, hit the subscribe button or leave a like or comment there and you will have seven years good luck. So let's get started. Last time we were talking about DQNs. So in general, to just recap, you have an agent on the way left and you, you just have uh, not the arbitrary uh, agent, you have an um, agent in form of um, DQN or a dense layer here. As you can see here, there are many dense layers. And this agent is in, um, for instance, in a maze in an environment and he's walking around to observe the state or the environment itself and by taking some actions he's receiving some rewards for good actions or for reaching the goal and q learning in general is a model free um, approach which means you are using dqns and you don't have any model to really take take about and it's it's a, a policy approach which means a policy you can consider like some rules for a game and the policy has to be improved each um, episode or in general to receive more awards and today we are taking care of double dqns which means there's uh, some bias going on because you are um, um, in the input, you have the um, states. So the states are um, coming from an input of a dense layer, as you can see here. And on the very right side, you have the actions of, in the output. So the uh, agent has to decide where to go, what to do in the environment and so on. So he's learning the actions in an improved way. And to take care about this, you are um, you want to improve the rewards in a really fast way to make it stable. And you want to have even, even um, really fast way to um, reach your goal. Uh, for instance, if you're in a maze, you want to get out of the maze, or if you're a mouse, you uh, want to get to the cheese and the very um, center of the maze and so on. But you want to do it as fast as possible and as efficient as possible to improve your agent, right? That's why double DQNs are introduced here. If we have the normal Q network above with um, input states. So you have a, a convolution on our network on the very left here, where you have the picture of the input state or um, the environment itself. And you are going through the environment to um, receive any action, right? to know what the agent is going to do in the um, environment. So um, to have a really fast and efficient way to receive the highest or the max reward here, the um, double Q networks were um, introduced and this is a really fast and efficient way to receive the max reward here. So we are splitting the outputs in two ways. So above you can see the value of the action and below you can see the action itself, which is inserting in a dense layer. So the red um, vertical lines are basically the dense layers here after the convolution uh, neural nets. And at the very end, you are summing everything up to receive the 
TQN or do you receive the action itself, the Q value, and to maximize everything on a really fast and efficient way. And because the problem was that the estimator was too estimating too fast, and we, uh, if you compare the expected result with uh, estimated result, you can see that he was really overestimating. There was a high bias. To um, make sure that this is not happening, to reduce this, um, double DQNs um, have a really nice approach for this. So today we're going to implement this. You can maybe remember from last time from the cut pole environment from Open Gym that we were using cut pole as the environment. And now we want to implement the WQN. So first of all, we are importing the libraries and we are having here the states and actions. We have four states, three, three actions. We are starting to without the agent to just see how the agent without um, TQN is performing. Then we can just see again how the reward or the um, is going to sum up. So we can start here the couple game and you can see the score is pretty low. And that's why we want to improve it by starting our dense layers here. And if you are plotting your summary, you can see that we are only having 770 parameters weights here. You can improve this um, dense layer as well. But for now, I think it's pretty fine to just show it in a really easy example. Afterwards, we are building the agent the DQN here to improve the agent to have a really fast reward to make everything more efficient and more stable with a low bias. That's why we are taking not only the normal DQN agent here, we are setting up or changing the parameters. For instance, the target model update we are changing here and we are enabling the double DQN. We are setting it to true, which means uh, set it up to um, DQ, double DQN, right? You can also use delta clip, train interval, and so on. You can play around a little bit with the parameters here. Uh, but for this example, I made it really simple to just show how important or how fast learning the model is. The agent is so I think this is pretty fine. After um, 50,000 steps, you can really see that he has a really nice um, job, what he was doing. So if you are just um, testing everything afterwards, maybe you can remember from the last session where we were using a DQN, he had um, to um, calculate or uh, play around about 20 episodes to receive the reward around about 200. I think after five or six episodes, he was um, heading to 200. Um, so if you're starting everything today to make it um, just clear, here's the agent on the way right, he's already heading with his first episode, and he's already are receiving the reward of 200. So you can see that before that in the DQN, he was heading to 200 right about the fifth or sixth episode. Right now he's already receiving after the first one. You can really see an improvement. The bias is getting really low, it's getting more stable, and the reward is already at 200 after this. And this is really fine. So far, you can also save your weights. And you can 
also afterwards load everything if you want to reuse everything afterwards again for another model to improve the model to show the case to some colleagues and yeah that's basically it um thanks a lot for watching hopefully i can make i could make it a little bit clear to use um double dqns um let me know if you want to see more about this videos um, in deep reinforcement learning and thank you so much and see you soon. Bye bye.